we ain't gonna give up hope yet. We ain't gonna give up hope yet. <laughs> it's just the first day. <laughs> it's just the first day. What is going on, Cog Squad? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. Well, I might be calling calf rope on the tractor. Um, I may throw in the towel and holler, Uncle. And, um, I done done, I don't know what else to do anymore. I done done so much to it, replaced a bunch of parts. You know, I'm to the point now where it's just all guessing and don't want to keep throwing parts at it or I may, I may, may find somebody that can work on old tractors. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them and I'm fixing that to fold them. All right, I, I think I may be getting really, really close now. She's been running for a good little minute. Maybe the longest she's ran yet. Running smooth. My idle adjustment's a little off. I think I got my uh, ratio right on the carburetor. I think I need to tighten my idle just a hair. Good now. Yeah, just that idle, just a little bit. Uh, but we may have, so we may have found somebody. But I'm gonna reach out to them and see. Uh, I could spend more time on it, but now I'm to the point where I'm spending way too much time. And y'all, I just don't have time anymore. I really don't. It's just gonna sit here and mama wants the garage back. So uh, it's just, it's really a timing thing now as well because spring is here. We gotta get the gardens ready. We gotta start some more seeds. We gotta get the flower farm going. We got the fruit orchard that needs a lot of tending to now because we should be producing some fruit this year. Plus the regular things that's going on with the farm. We're gonna be starting a barn build soon. I got the protege garden in the, in the back that I gotta get going. It's just so much going on like getting all this stuff ready so we can get our farm stand going. And speaking of farm stand, we're gonna try to get it halfway going, halfway going. We're gonna try to get it going to, here today because our girls are laying eggs like crazy. So we gotta get the farm stand going so we can at least get some egg sales going. And in the meantime, everything else get going so we can put it in the farm stand and have it for ourselves. So I'm just gonna have to find somebody to help me with the tractor. And let's get this farm stand going because we gotta sell eggs. And there's one little thing that we gotta do that, um, that we got to figure out about selling eggs is here in Alabama, we gotta keep them cool to sell them. Hey girl, you got any ideas on how we can keep the eggs cool? Yeah, now I know, yeah, I know that we actually don't, oh, you about push me over. We actually don't even refrigerate our own eggs. Yeah, United States is one of few countries that actually do refrigerate their eggs. As um, long as you don't wash them, they don't need to be refrigerated, but each state's different. Each state's got their own laws, so we gotta keep ours cool here in Alabama, and we gotta figure out how we do that. And we're gonna get this farm stand out there by the road, and let's see if we can make our first dollar with the farm stand. What you think, Holly? Hmm? You think we gonna get it? I think so, too. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go tend to this farm and get this farm stand going. You go get your tool belt, yeah. You go get your tool belt. So here is the Cock Hill Farm farm stand. I don't think it should be the Cock Hill farm stand. I think that sounds better, right? We had all kind of names for it. I forgot what all we called it. Maybe Brooke can remember. 
But uh, we have some few things we want to do, and of course we want to decorate it. Now, Brooke has painted the outside of it, which I do like. It is a rustic, like a weathered, say rustic, like a weather gray color, and I like that. Um, we got a little bit more to do, but we want to get this show on the road. So we're thinking about hanging up these signs that you guys sent us here and get that on here. We got our, our, our honor box here where people can put their money in and pay for whatever goodies we got out here. And, and we got one little detail here that was Brooks' idea right here. And that is, she said this will get people's attention and it looks amazing. Now that right there is going to catch somebody's attention. Right there driving down the road. That looks nice. Don't it look nice? It does. Against our beautiful blue sky. It is pretty. You know, we can, we can leave our eggs, you know, at room temperature. They don't have to be refrigerated. But we are in the Alabama heat. So we were kind of struggling with that. You know, what should we do? And our initial thought was, was a cooler and ice packs or gel packs. And I had talked to somebody that was doing a farm stand and they said that's what they did. But me and you both decided that it probably would melt pretty quick. So when we were uh, running power to the house, we decided to stub up outdoor plugs down through the pasture area and up there. And we got a plug up there at the top of the driveway, which means we got power up there. So if we get us a nice extension cord, we could buy us a little cheap, small refrigerator to go in here, and that would keep the eggs to the exact right temperature, and we would not have to worry about anything except the power going out. I think that our customers will be happy knowing that they have maintained the correct temperature. That's how we're gonna keep the eggs cool. Now, we also want to decorate this thing, and so we're going to put some cute little signs up. All these awesome signs you guys gave us right through here. And we got to get got some screws, and I got to go get a bit to fit those little tiny screws we got here. I thought that might have been a turkey up there. <laughs> it but, but there's a turkey. <laughs> it wouldn't shock me. Oh, look at Scott. Is he putting on a show? Scott and 64, right beside each other. Oh my gosh. Scott is, can you see Scott's about, Scott's five years old? He may be older than that. But anyways, you can see the difference in tail feathers. Huh. That is amazing. How it goes from the one on the left, and in a few years it looks like the one on the right. All right, so we're trying to figure out here. This is a big question here. They didn't have one on display where we could actually, because we actually took an egg carton with us to see if we could send the eggs it would hold. And we don't really have much of a choice on what refrigerator we can get either because of the mm. height, yeah. Minimal space here. So it's not very big, but it's let's- not. Let, how many do you think are, are gonna fit in there? I'm guessing, my, my initial guess is five. I think about the same, um, but we got to have a winner. So I'll say six and you say five. That'll work. And you know, it's not like we're here. So oh, you know, we if we go out there and check it at lunch and it's missing eggs, then we'll yeah. put some more in it. That's right. And thank you to our good friends, Peter and Kelly. I love these. For donating us these brand new egg cartons many, many moons ago, They're so to speak. so cute. They didn't have any use for them, so they thought about us, and we've been saving them for a special occasion like now. All right, so start at the top, don't you think? Yep. 
one. I'm not doing them correctly, but. Okay. All right, so one won't fit right there. Four. It looks like one which might fit right there. I don't know if the door will shut. Right. We want to well, there's it. your limit right there. Yeah, I'm done. Five. <laughs> All right, so six, seven. One more fit on top of that one. Um. No. No. And if I put it right there, I'm scared that, yeah, yeah the door's going to hit it. I can tell you All right, right so now. only two right there. But that may... Can you turn it sideways? I can. Let's see. You think it'll shut? I don't know. So what? Five, eight, eight? Huh? Oh, gosh. Is it shutting? It's not shutting. It's hitting that top it's one. It's hitting the top one. So we know six for sure. Seven, I think. Look. All thing I worry about is somebody opening up that door yeah, that fast. Yeah, doing just like that? Doing just like that. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep six in it at all times. How's that? Six, so you're the winner, winner. <sighs> what yeah. you what you win? A carton of eggs <laughs> that I go gather myself. Oh, you could do that if you wanted to. We could. Yeah. Uh, hmm. What about, let's see. That's supposed to be for beverage. I could take that door off. Yeah, oh, we could yeah, take yeah. the door off <laughs> We could just do take the door one. off and do that. Because the door is yeah. what's preventing that from closing. Yeah. There we go. Eight. Yeah, we can we get eight. Do, we can do eight. Yeah, some kind of drink chiller. And, so that would and all you got to do is pop that out. Yep. It's just a piece of plastic. Yeah, it'll there pop There we go. Off. Yay. Eight's a lot. Eight is a lot. So I don't think we're going to gather eight dozen a day yet. Not yet. <laughs> I don't know. Them girls are laying pretty good, but yeah. They are. So you want to get it pulled out to the road and plug it in? Yeah, let's see how it works. All right. And we're doing four dollars a dozen. Four dollars a dozen. That's where we're gonna start off at. And here's the thing is I want to print out a little QR code, which I'm not very tech savvy, but some people are. So if I have that little QR code, all they gotta do is scan it. Mm -hmm. You don't have cash, no big deal. Just PayPal or Venmo us. Yeah. And you know, that'll make it work. That'll make it work. And then as the year goes on, we'll hopefully add more things than eggs to our... Oh, yeah, that's what I talked about earlier. We're going to hopefully have some veggies in here. You know, I make it even freeze-dry some candy. And, we could do that, too. Um, yep. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, possibilities yeah. are endless. Very endless. And I screwed the refrigerator down, too, so All it's not right. going to move on us. Yeah, it was... Um, when you can see, it can go back this way. Yeah, I, I couldn't get screws way. in the front, That's but okay. I got screws in the back. As long as it does yeah. it top load, we're okay. It can't flip around and stuff, so it should be fine. All right, we're about to get this show on the road. Let's take our flag off while we tow it. That's right. And... Let's see if it's going to work where we want it to work. We've just kind of been eyeballing it. So you remember like when you were a kid and you had those magnetic letters? Yeah. We could put some magnetic letters on the refrigerator. Oh, Eggs. we could. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh. Hey, boys. Boy, where'd you go? Bandit took off. What about it? I was going to ask him what he thought about the, the stand. Look. What do you it's got? ready. Oh, yeah. Look here. He's official. Rocky. He's official. Come here, Bandit. You gotta show him. off your bling. He took off. Oh, I hear him. I hear, hear him. Bandit. Come here, he boy. Is. What you doing? Hey, buddy. Come here and show everybody your new bling. Let's see. Look at that. What does that say? Oh, Bandit. He says Bandit. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. They are good boys. Still no DNA test results, but they have received it. Yep. Um, so, you know, still could take a few weeks, but we're just hanging out. Hopefully right, one boys? else soon. Right, Rocky? <laughs> That's kind of catchy, isn't it? That is kind of catchy. All right. Now you want to feed the extension cord to me and me go plug it in? Yeah, that'll work. All right, I'm going to plug it in. Plug it in. All right, it's on. Got it? Let's see if it came on. It's running. 
Now, growing up, y'all be honest now. Be honest. How many of y'all called a grocery store and asked them where their refrigerator's running? I know some of y'all did. I know some of y'all did. <laughs> All right. So there's one thing left to do. And let's put some eggs in it. Let's get it stocked up. Get it stocked up. Where how long it takes refrigerator to get cool? That long? It's Not so small. long because I could feel the coolness yeah. when I open it. Cool. And y'all can hear the traffic. Yeah. We got lots of traffic. It got lots of traffic, so I may be getting lots more chickens. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I would ask you, but I'm pretty sure you cut that fence off or you wouldn't be in there. I'm, I, I cut it off. <laughs> I cut it off. I was just thinking what happy hens I have. Oh, goodness, yes. I took a peek and I have some eggs. So I think it's time that we gather. We, uh, they've been doing well. They really they have. have. And you know, these longer days are really contributing to their laying. Yes, and this green grass. And high grass. quality feed. That's right. They are happy hens. All those things contribute. Look at here, look at here. All right, so. Mm-hmm. Aren't they beautiful? They are so beautiful. And you know, even so though beautiful. this is a light brown and beautiful? this is a darker brown, I still think both of them came from a Rhode Island. You might probably right. The Rhode Islands have been laying very well. Yes, they have. And I think we did the right thing by starting them a little bit early. Yeah. So they would be laying. I agree. In laying season, right? That's right. And I'm guessing maybe two more weeks and the Easter ears may be out. Yes, I can't wait to see what color eggs they lay. They're, um, they're getting on up there. I mean, they're gonna oh, be look a... at this one. Okay. Oh, goodness. So this is what you call, well, what I call a fairy egg. Mm-hmm. And it's sometimes when a hen first starts cycling, laying, laying eggs, they can produce a small egg, which is a fairy egg. Now, sometimes yep. they don't even contain a yolk. Right. While sometimes they do. It just depends. But this is a regular egg, and this is a fairy egg. <laughs> I don't think anybody would be very happy to... No, if that was one of their... To purchase yeah. that one. So I'll tell you what we'll do. When we get back outside... We'll bust this one okay. and we'll look at it and see if it has a yolk. Most of the time they don't have yolks. Most of the time they don't. Yep. I would consider it good luck if it does. Look at that beautiful Man, egg. They're pretty. Look at them. And they're that's what the Easter eggers are going to do is hopefully add a little more color. Okay, last one. Guess who this is? That's Emma Jean. Emma and her Jean. Her beautiful blue egg. Her beautiful blue egg. Is that all of them? That's all of them. All right, let's go carton these up and also let's crack this little fairy egg. Okay. All right, here she goes. What do you think? Yolk, I, don't, I don't have a yolk. You don't think? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. And, uh, nope, no yolk. No yolk. Look at there. Yep. All right, let's get these that don't need to be washed. Okay. Cartoned up. All right, if they show any sign of needing to be rinsed off, we'll do that. That's right. We'll take them home, but most of them are pretty clean. Are pretty clean. Let's see what it feels like in there. Oh yeah, it's cool. good. good. Yeah. Good job. Get that one out. Oh yeah, that one's empty. That one's empty. Okay. Yeah. Somebody don't want to buy an empty one. Okay. Good deal. So we're one step closer towards making ourselves more self-sufficient. That's right. And wonder how long it'll be before we get our first customer. What's going on, Tilt? Capri? If I was a bit man, I'd say he's pregnant now. That's just me, though. That's just me. I gotta go tell the boss lady that we got the, the farm stand going. I was gonna let you know we got the we got the farm stand rolling. Yeah, it's going. So we should be selling some eggs here, hopefully this week. But um, you can go ahead and mark that off your list for things I needed to do around here. 
I'll split the profit with you 80-20. That's right. You get the 80, I get the 20. But that's all right, as long as I keep my job. All right. You have an awesome day. Hey, girls. Girls, I want y'all to know that we sure do appreciate y'all. We really do. I mean, not only are you gals producing some eggs that we can, you know, sell to the community and help the farm out, you're producing eggs for us, but you're also fertilizing my, my garden area out here and eating bugs and weed seeds. I mean, y'all like super chickens, you know? You really are super chickens. Thank y'all, super chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna redo some pepper seeds. Um, my um banana peppers. I just started too early. I mean, that, that's what it boils down to. I'm like every one of y'all that loves gardening. You just start biting at the bit, right? And and you and you want to get things going. And I just started my seeds just a little too early, especially my pepper seeds. Even though they're on the heat mat, we just got too cold. And if y'all know anything about starting peppers from seeds, they are the, they just take way longer than anything else. Way longer. It's gotta be warm, the soil's gotta be warm. And I just started too early is all I did. Just started too early. So we're gonna redo it. I mean, I like banana peppers just about on anything. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is a, considered a sweet pepper. If you've never grown banana peppers before, you should try it. Just love banana peppers. So got my banana peppers ready. Fixing to put some perlite on top of these guys. I get asked this question a lot about the perlite. What is that white stuff? What's that? Is that styrofoam? No, it is called perlite, which is produced by volcanoes. You can get it anywhere, which kind of blows my mind because... You just don't think of, you know, that many volcanoes being around, but. And the reason why I like to put perlite on mine is because it's really light. Perlite is really, really light. I mean, it looks like styrofoam. It kind of feels like styrofoam. It's very, very light. It um, drains really well, and it just allows the seed to just pop on up very easily. And it helps with a disease called dampening off which is fairly common when you start seeds so that's why i put perlite up there so here we go i'm gonna water these guys in put some labels in them and hopefully these peppers will do better than my other one because it's starting to get warm i got a gut feeling that the cold weather the cold cold weather we'll probably get some cooler weather but the cold cold weather is gone gone no more freezing here fingers crossed now, now, let's go see if anybody's bought some eggs. It's been several hours since we put them out there. And uh, let's go see if anybody purchased any eggs. If we made our first, if we made our first dollar in the, uh, the farm stand. Look, I'm gonna tell you, it's cooling off as the day goes on. The sun's setting, it was about 80. Now it's about 60, it feels like. The wind's picked up a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Y'all, look, look at there. Look, 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 let's see. Make sure ain't nobody. Oh no, look at there. Oh my. We got our first egg sales. <laughs> That's exciting. It really is. That really is exciting. Well, that gets you pumped. I'm not going to lie. That gets you pumped right there. I love it. Absolutely love it. Just like the brook finds out. <laughs> Maybe I'll just keep it for myself. Don't tell her about it. Just be mine your secret. How about that? Oh. 